everyone. It is a Saturday. It's about 9 a.m. I got myself all ready for the day because I have a lot to get done. I'm actually hosting a little girls party tomorrow. I have my Botox girl coming over and a bunch of girlfriends and she's gonna do Botox and all the fun things on us girls. So I'm up and ready for the day because I have a lot of cleaning and errands and things that I wanna get done. So this video will probably consist of today and tomorrow. So doing some cleaning up today. I wanna run to Costco and I wanna get some party trays and maybe some wine, some champagne, stuff to just make it a party. So the boys are actually working on their areas right now. So you can hear they just fired up the vacuum. They were in charge of their bedrooms, the loft and their bathroom. So they just fired up the vacuum to go ahead and put the finishing touches out there. So maybe we'll go out there and see what they have gotten done already. Helps out a ton that they're at the age that they can now kind of help out with their bathroom and their cleaning is getting a little bit better than it was a few years ago. But I want to start out by making my bed. I actually put on fresh sheets last night. So that way when we go out of town next weekend, I could put on a brand new set. And then when we come home, um, we'll come home to a clean bed. That's one of my favorite things about leaving is coming back to a nice clean home and a clean bed. So that's what we're gonna be working on. We're gonna start vacation prepping. We're gonna be party prepping. So come along with me and let's get a few things done. Um, so we can finally start checking things off this list. So clearly the boys still have some stuff to do up here and they weren't done yet. I have to give them a little bit of credit, but let's be honest, mom does have to come through here and kind of keep more of an eye on the details, like putting the toilet seat down and I'm going to take out these empty containers. So they're going to go ahead and continue cleaning up there in their space so I can get back to getting done what's on my list today. So like I said, I wanted to start by making my bed. I was already ready for the day. Also ex ignore the wet spot on my jeans. I leaned on the boys bathroom counter and there was like a puddle of water on it. And of course, like I touched it with my jeans. So it'll be dry in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with my list for the day. I feel like this day was gonna be nonstop, which is so much to do. So I just wanted to hit the ground running. And since I was ready for the day, might as well make the bed. So I can go ahead and just move on with everything else I have to do this day. Take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped at nothing, baby. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. Okay, so before I go downstairs, I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I picked up for my trip. Um, some of this stuff is so cute. I got um, the boys a couple of t-shirts from Tilly's. So this will be cold tees. It is just a Santa Cruz tee. And then I got him this Vans one. I love these colors. I love to get the boys like new stuff for trips just like I get myself. So they got hooked up with some new stuff. This is for Rylan, my older son. Again, these four t-shirts I'm showing you right here are all from Tilly's. Pricey, they're around like $21, $22. Yes, even for a child, which I feel like I pay the same prices for my husband's men's shirts. But those four are from Tilly's. I'm gonna be packing those to Cabo San Lucas with us. And the next few are going to be from Target. So this is for my older son, Rylan. He's like really into like science and space and engineering. So I grabbed him that NASA tee. I also got the boys both um, the same shorts. So these are those hybrid like from water, like wet to dry style shorts. Um, I love to get these from Target and they're only $15. Sometimes you can find them on sale from like maybe 13, but I got them each a pair. So I got um, a gray and then a blue. Um, and then these are actually from Ross. They're the Hurley brand. I got these for Rylan. Again, that hybrid material. So um, it literally says, how do they put it? Um, quick dry fabric with mesh pockets. Uh, you can wear these shorts in and out of the water. So I got these. 
but I also found this shirt to go with it. So I thought this would be really cute to pack for Rylan. Um, this one I also got from Rylan, but this for Rylan, but this is from Target. It just says hello summer with a little pineapple on it. Colton had expressed to me that he wanted a tank top and Target had these cute ones um, for, I think this was like eight bucks or $6, even better. So I got him one of these. I thought it would be great for Cabo and just wearing around the pool and just summer in general. I also got Colton the Sonic the Hedgehog. I loved the colors in this and of course that like trendy checkered pattern. So I grabbed this for Colton. I think this one was around like $15. Oh, $12. I'm way off on my prices today. And this is the last one from Target. It says Sunny Paradise. And this one I got for Colton as well. Again, like those bright summer colors. And then the other shorts I got for my other son. And then here's another Ross tee that I got for Rylan. Um, this is from Ross as well. Like if we go to like a nicer dinner, we're going to Cabo for my husband's birthday. So I'm sure we'll do like maybe a birthday dinner so he can wear that. I also scored this pair of brand name O'Neill board shorts for my son Colton. I thought those were super cute. And then of course, you know, I had to find a few things for myself. This is not a flattering angle by the way. And I don't know what is going on with this headband. It's like giving me a poof in the front. So just ignore that. Um, I got these shorts from Ross for myself and I figured I can put this RE tank. Yes, I found an RE tank at Ross. I figured these would be cute together for Cabo. And then I found this really nice quality tank. The brand is Cali Sport. Um, and I figured I could wear this with these high-waisted shorts. I thought these would be just like really cute and crisp and vacation-y. So that is what I got just over the last few days. I have a whole other pile of stuff that I'll probably end up sharing with you guys as it gets closer to the trip. A ton of bathing suits, dresses, cute outfits, but that's not what this video is supposed to be about. So. They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. No, we didn't care at all about winter or spring or fall. We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. Just have one of those things. Ooh. I guess I've had some things to figure out, but now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt. Was it easy for you? Yeah, was it too easy for you? You used to say that you would always be mine, but you seem to be doing just fine. No. So this was actually the next day. Um, day one, we started on cleaning around the house. So the boys got started in their area upstairs. And then I did a lot of my errands outside of the home. That way, now fast forward to party day, um, I'm able to just really focus on getting my house pulled together for company. So I'm gonna start here in the family room. And um, I actually, deep cleaned a little more than I had anticipated um, so if you guys need deep cleaning motivation we do that in this video um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start here in the family room and then we'll kind of move around the downstairs and just get everything perfect to have people over when we stopped at nothing, babe. yeah we stopped at nothing babe they couldn't change us they couldn't catch us if they tried no we didn't care at all about winter or spring or fall we felt so alive and girl we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief yeah, we so before i forget to mention this in my last video maybe the one before that it's titled big news um, thank you so much for all the love and kindness in that video. I kind of dropped what has been kind of going on in the background as you guys have been watching these videos for quite a while now. And I finally decided to share that news with you all. So thank you all so much for your kind comments and support. Um, if you missed that video, definitely go back and watch it. But just so you guys are up to date, um, a few things may be changing on my channel and that's because we will 
be homeschooling our children for this next school year and for the next, I don't know, foreseen future. Um, so obviously that's going to come with some growing pains and some changes here on my channel, but don't worry, this channel is not going anywhere. Um, this is definitely something that's very important to me and I love having something for myself. Um, and so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Just, I may not be posting my normal schedule or maybe not as long of videos, or maybe I may miss an upload, stuff like that. So. Um, I'm really gonna appreciate your patience during this time when we go back to school. Um, we're finishing up what's left of this year with the current school that we are at. Um, actually, by the time you guys see this, I'll probably upload this on like a Thursday. Our last school, our last day of school will be that Friday and then we will be out of school on summer break until mid-August. So I'll be sticking with the current school year that we are currently in, but I will be doing independent homeschool. So at least that way, my kids will still be off at the same time as their friends and it's just kind of what we're used to. So there's just some few other things that we have to figure out, but that was the news and thank you again so much. You guys were so kind and so supportive. But getting back to the focus of today's video and that is cleaning and I really wanted to dust off this main area of the room. Um, I have two lovely women coming over um, to actually do the Botox for us and so I thought we could utilize this space. I have these two really comfy chairs. Um, that you can kind of sit back and recline just a tiny bit. Um, so I wanted to get this space really nice and clean. I knew a lot of people were gonna be hanging out in here between here and the backyard. Um, we will actually end up in the backyard as well. So for those of you that love the outdoor cleaning, I've got that in today's video as well. But I just wanted to point out, I'm really kind of spending some extra time here on this side of the room and just getting it all clean because I knew the injectors were gonna be over here and then this is where the women were gonna be getting their Botox done. Wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget, yeah. Face really came together. I'm really happy with it. We've had windows and doors open, so it just has lots of fresh air, natural light. And then I sprayed that linen spray, and then of course I mopped the floors. So everything is all nice and tidy. It's looking good, it's smelling good. Um, I do end up lighting some candles before everyone arrives, but I didn't show it here in this video, but it just really like cozied up the space, made it a lot more inviting. I love to light candles when I entertain. Um, I really think it just helps guests just feel more comfortable um, and relaxed when they come over. So now I'm able to kind of move on to the next space and that's this dining area. I am going to be serving some light refreshments, if you will. Um, I got some sandwich trays and some fruit, some munchies, and then I'm be putting out like some champagne and wine, which I will show you guys all that setup. I asked you guys before if that's something you guys would be interested in or if you only wanted to see like the cleaning portion. And a lot of you said that you wanted to see like the entire setup. So um, I love watching that stuff too. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you. So when we do, um, when we wrap up this cleaning portion, we'll go into more of like preparing and setting up. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. So oh, baby, bye. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt even more than this does. Ooh, hey. 
I wanted to ask if you guys had any requests for upcoming videos. Um, I feel like sometimes I come up with a ton of ideas and then I make a long list of what I want to share. And then there's other times where I'm kind of like, well, shoot, what does everyone want to see? So I've been loving mixing it up on my channel. So please comment down below. Let me know if there's anything in particular you guys want me to share, anything you guys like to see. Um, you guys did express interest in my spring porch refresh. So I'll definitely put that on my list of videos to film and put up for you all because I'm going to do it anyways. But if you guys are interested, I will be happy to take the time to film it for you. Um, but please let me know down in the comments if there's anything in particular. It doesn't even have to just be cleaning. Like I said, I've really been enjoying um, just kind of filming and putting fresh content in my videos and not just cleaning. It just gets too tiring and I'm just not even, if I don't want to watch it, I don't expect you guys to watch it. So I am open and if I can make it happen, I will do that. Now I know I just wiped off the counters, but I have been dying to wipe down these lights. And if you guys want to get your homes clean, have people over, entertain. It will make you clean your house and get into those spaces. So right after I wiped down the counters, I said, you know what, I'm going to get up there and I'm going to do those lights and look how much better these look. Look how much dust had collected on here. So I'm glad I took the time to do it. And then I just took a quick second and re-wiped down that portion of the counter. Here's my husband, he's using my handy dandy duster to get up high. Um, he can do this chore way better than I because he's obviously taller than me. And then with the stick on this duster, he can reach in all those hard places. So thankful for my whole family for pitching in in today's video, even though, you know, it's my channel, you guys are only really gonna see me. I'm not gonna make my family be on camera, but they were pitching in in the background. The kids were helping out, my husband was helping out. You'll kind of see them pop in and out of this video in the background. This mat right here, I love how soft and cushy it is while I'm doing dishes. The only thing is that it does get dirty and this is exactly why I had to go ahead and toss my kitchen rug that was here before. I would wash it and wash it and just after a while it just didn't look clean anymore. So I picked this up from Home Goods a good few months ago, but it's that material where you can like spray it wipe it down, you can mop on it, but I really wanted to give it a deep clean. So I used this vinegar um, multi-surface spray, but then decided to go in with a Dawn Power Wash and that just whitened it right up.
Tell me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I wanted to give you all a break from my chattiness this video. I don't know why. I feel like I just have so much to chat with you guys about today. Um, but here we are finally out of the house and in the backyard. And in a few minutes, I'm going to go in and get changed for this party because I was starting to get to the point where I had to move into the kitchen and start preparing all the food and the drinks. So this outside portion is going to be kind of my last ditch effort to pull the house together to look nice. And then we'll kind of shift gears into food and drink and setting everything up. And then of course I'll finally throw on my clothes for the day. Um, I did get up and do my hair and makeup because I feel like that's the part that takes the longest when you're getting ready. So at least that was done. And then when I was done, I'm doing all my cleaning and setting up and then I knew I could just go in and freshen up and throw on my outfit for the day. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody else. take me no one will ever take me away from you i promise I this table i think we're going to be replacing if not this season next season for sure we've probably had this table for over 10 years and you know what it has held up amazing for that amount of time but i really want to get the matching table and chairs that go with my couch out here um, and I just feel like this table has run its course with us. So I will probably, you know, pass it along to a family member or a friend, or maybe I'll just list it over on the marketplace for free. But I do plan on swapping out this table. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up with a tablecloth. Feels like I can fly. can take me high what's it like to be the one I'll see if I can find a picture but the last time I threw one of these Botox parties I did a huge charcuterie spread um, I actually have a whole video I'll link it down below for you guys um, it was massive and to be honest, it was a lot of fun and it looked beautiful, but I definitely um, Did way too much. So I learned the hard way and I'm just gonna keep it simple um, So we're just gonna put out a few things this time and this is my sister You're gonna see some people kind of start to arrive They offered to come over early and kind of help me with a few things So this is my sister here that you saw helping me in the kitchen and setting up some ice This is her helping me um, set up these mimosa ice cube molds that I made. So instead of pouring just the liquid orange juice into the mimosa, I froze the orange juice into these beautiful rose ice molds. And it just made for a really beautiful presentation and everybody got a kick out of it. And they were so yummy. And it also kept your drink cold as you were drinking. So everyone kind of started to pitch in and help me pull this together because I think at this point um, I had like minutes until people arrived. So you're going to see me kind of start chatting it up. And that's because people were starting to walk in the door and I was saying hello and just kind of visiting as I was finishing up.
I wanted to make sure that I had refreshments for everyone so I'm just gonna put out this peach iced tea and cucumber water just as a non-alcoholic option and then you guys will see me set up like some wine and champagne and I've been on an Aperol spritz um, kick the last few months and it just goes so well with this beautiful weather we've been having and it's just light and delicious so I'm gonna set up a little bar here in a second I also wanted to add that my husband and my two boys, they went to a minor league baseball game this day while I was having my girls party and it was Star Wars themed so they got to meet like Darth Vader and Stormtroopers and Mandalorian and all those fun characters while enjoying a baseball game and I got to chat it up with my girlfriends and just have a really, really good time. I wanted to thank you all so much for watching today's video. I wish I could have you all over to entertain you and welcome you into my homes just for all the support you guys have shown me. And just thank you so much for making it here to the end of the video. Drop me a heart emoji in the comments if you made it here to the end. If you guys are new, I would love if you would consider subscribing and also hit that like button that helps me out a ton here on YouTube, get my videos pushed out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends. I'm staring at you. You don't even notice. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be afraid.